Okay, so once you have put the uh, transparency on top of your coated paper, you're going to bring the covered uh, setup out to our lights here in the room. And there's a box to prop them up to the right distance below the lights. And you're going to set them down, see how it's still covered. We're going to start our timer and set it for an hour uh, or um, an hour and a half, depending. Um, we'll give you the exact time here. And we are going to cover this and start our timer. And it's going to begin to expose. And if I look closely, you'll see that it's kind of light colored at first, but this will eventually darken over time. So we'll let that basically cook under those lights for about an hour or so. Okay, so my one hour is up. What do I do now? Well, if you're still in the classroom, you're going to cover it so it doesn't continue to get exposed to light. So I'm going to cover it with this cardboard here. And then I'm going to take this to our developing station like this. We're going to walk over to the developing station. And you'll see I have some running water going just to fill this up. But we don't need a lot of water going. Just some fresh water keeping this kind of moving. And I'm going to unclip my prints. Take the cardboard off and the negative transparency off. And you'll see that I can see some contrast in the yellow greens and the blues. I'm going to put this in my water and begin to develop this image. And not too bad so far. What you're hoping for is nice deep blues in the dark areas and for those kind of yellow green areas to wash away so that you have good contrast in your print. Now you'll analyze your image more or less as it's developing and see where did I go wrong? What was my mistake? In this case, I can see right away that the whites have started to um, turn a bluish purple color in the white areas of the image. Up here, not too bad, but here, still kind of, you know, purplish or bluish. We want all those to wash off. If they don't, uh, we may have to change our exposure time. It looks like it's doing okay. You don't want to touch it too much, but for demonstration purposes, I am touching it a little bit. And it looks like it's a little bit light in some areas as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and do one more step. For this last step, what I want to do is to take my image that just came out of the water and put it into the last bath over here, which is hydrogen peroxide. And as I do this, you'll see that the blues begin to darken a nice, deep, rich Prussian blue. Most of the whites have washed out where they're supposed to wash out. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the final step. This would normally happen over time. It would eventually oxidize and get darker, but the hydrogen peroxide does help it to darken quicker and kind of set the image. And you're gonna let that soak in there for a minute or two, and then take it out drip 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 and then we're going to put it back in the water and rinse it one last time so there's no hydrogen peroxide on it when we're done we're going to let this drip as dry as we can get it you can see the details and the uh, nice deep blue color and uh, when it's all dry, you'll be able to analyze it and see how your time was, if it was uh, too long or too short a period of time. And only time will tell until this is completely dry. Uh, you won't know for sure. Okay, so let's take this and hang it up. In order to let your cyanotype dry, you've got to hang it by one of these clips here and let it kind of hang and drip dry uh, the rest of the way completely. So you're gonna hang them up by these kind of clotheslines and these clips. Please don't let your picture touch another one of your pictures or somebody else's in the classroom. I recommend also that you turn this paper away 
from the lights that might be exposing other people's images, it probably wouldn't affect it, but we don't want to take any chances. If you have any questions, let me know, but that's the process of developing your image.